Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan, and this is going to be a wonderful 4th of July present for the XRP holders in the US. There is a new on-demand liquidity patent. So this isn't just a patent, but a full solution with digital wallets and pools of liquidity. In addition, it proves to the SEC, in my opinion, <laughs> that Ripple and the use of a digital asset was going to solve this $10 trillion problem a long time ago. It's real. This is a patent that ties into a previous patent from 2019. It's a solution that is for exchanging currency cross borders, but also for bonds stocks, commodities, securities, the internet of value, where money flows like an email, any kind of value. Let me first just touch on this United Emirates registration form. Uh, it was from the wrath of Kahneman who put this out on Twitter. That's great find. Yeah, it's uh, a brand management piece for the Ministry of Economy in the United Arab Emirates. And we were lucky enough to have a translation. Uh, I did work with it. It's, it's really, Arabic is hard to work with in uh, Google Translate. And you can do it, but uh, it's really nice when we have somebody who is a native speaker can do it so quickly and easily. So this is an announcement for an official registration of the Ripple On Demand Liquidity Trademark with the Government of UAE, United Arab Emirates, Ministry of Economics, Commercial Registration Department to provide a P2P financial data exchange service. Well, it's, um, yeah, let me just show you something. So these are published and it happened to be published in a paper uh, along with WhatsApp. Yeah, this is going to be an extension on their brand, on their trademark there for another 10 years. But you can see these two here, this one and this one are from Ripple. And when you go to the United Arab Emirates Ministry of Economy website, uh, it, they offer all sorts of services, right? agencies, uh, certificates of origin, you know, where you can prove the origin of a national product. I mean, it's just, it's a very, um, it's a very typical <laughs> government website with the business license, uh, with the uh, private stock companies that you have to uh, go through their process. And then you can see here, you have the patents and utility certificates, industrial design and drawing registrations, et cetera, et cetera. And what I will show you is in that process that is being done is a trademark registration. And it is, it is for brand management. And they are right here in that stage of the publishing. So you can first see they fill out an application. The uh, application payment is then taken. There is the study of the application. And then you pay for the publishing. And then it gets published. And then you pay for the registration. And then, boom, finally, it's registered. If nobody claims uh, that they have uh, claim to it. You know, that happened with pay ID. Do you remember? And so Ripple had to then go for pay string. So this is the process now where they are allowing people to make claim. I forget. I actually translated in there what the time frame was. I'm sorry. I can't remember. And the reason why I can't remember and I'm not going to pay any more time to that one is because there is a new Ripple patent application. It was applied for on June 24th. And uh, that's really what I want to talk about. You know, uh, I was just going to point out here is the United States uh, trademark uh, uh, registrations for uh, Ripple's and you, Ripple's uh, Oh boy, I'm just getting ahead of myself. You know what? I, just because I'm just so excited, I just want to talk about this. So I'm just jumping to this. All right. It is a uh, commuting system that will provide on-demand liquidity using direct wallet-to-wallet -wallet transfers of 
digital currency. And what it is as a key feature, I mean, it's long and I have gone through it multiple times and I'm going to pull out the nuggets for you and I will for sure put a link to it in the description below. But this is a system that can acquire an exchange rate from multiple sources to generate a guaranteed rate with its instructions to execute the transaction. So this can then provide clients uh, the ability to store crypto for cross medium exchanges, those transactions using these cryptocurrencies as a bridge between different fiat currencies. Yeah, specifically to different fiat currencies and then publishes that transaction and transfer to a de decentralized ledger that is comprised of multiple nodes. And this application cross-references a related application from 2019, December 19th, 2019. And I think that is really key and important because it does go to show that Ripple has been building this solution for XRP for quite some time. And with the advent of digital currencies a, and a decentralized ledger, the money parked out there by banks around the world can be largely eliminated. Yeah, that's the Nostro accounts. And by using the digital currency, instead, this allows banks to take that money, free it up, they can loan it, they can invest it, it reduces their cost. The parked float only drives up price and complexity of moving money across the world. So this is the solution. But it, it, is, it is a little bit more than just what we typically thought of using uh, the distributed ledger technology and the digital asset XRP. Because receiving clients include individual users, businesses, households, charities, financial entities, local banks, and the like. All right. The originators can be financial institutions or multinational corporates or even government entities and non-governments alike, okay? This can top up a slippage amount or even if the balances of their pool of digital currency in those wallets drop to near zero, it automatically maintains the client's pool. So imagine the digital currency that sits in each exchange, as it says, is a custom amount to fit the needs of the user. I have been listening very carefully to David Schwartz. And when he talks about his vision of how he sees these pools of XRP all over the globe that people can draw on, this is exactly that an exchange management engine that transmits a settlement instruction to withdraw or deposit to or from the pool of digital currency in just a few seconds so this is solving a 10 trillion dollar problem the exchange rate is guaranteed through a dynamic exchange lookup it replaces the need for clearing houses. It uses the exchange of value for even commodities, other digital currencies, bonds, stocks, securities. Those are all mentioned in this patent. It has the function for relatively large payments too. Now this is new, right? Uh, for example, those that can occur between the dollar and the euro, that is a corridor that's uh, <laughs> very liquid and it uh, has uh, some very large amounts that are going between those two regional areas. It has the ability to break up the master order into small sub orders, organize it, manage it, even though it is broken up as a master order and then it can record into a database or distributed ledger and the system also manages these digital wallets okay wow <laughs> i'm just so excited i i think yeah i have a hard time just uh not <laughs> 
<laughs> not cracking a bottle of pink sparkle. <laughs> the second application, this is a uh, part of that complete system. And it even uses a queuing system that if the exchange goes down, it can queue those orders until it comes back online. Anyway, there is so much in this that uh, you need to look through it yourself. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who are going to plow through it line by line. I did, but it is so much that if I, if I, <laughs> if I went line by line with you, I would lose 90% of you. So I gave it to you in a nutshell. It's just, I think, really a two thumbs up, fantastic patent. And what's interesting is if they patent this and it is granted, I wonder how much barrier to entry that creates for other entities out there. Yeah, that is something I would love to hear people discuss. All right, I'm jumping to the fluff, and today is a big day in Japan. No, not because it's the 4th of July. <laughs> Nobody even remembers the, that. I was kind of uh, feeling a little, this is, these are some holidays where I feel a little homesick. Uh, 4th of July is one of them. I want to be out there um, doing the barbecue. And, uh, I, you know, I think back, and I think my fondest memory is my mom's potato salad. Yeah, so I'm sure all of you are having, hopefully, a really great time. If you're traveling, do be safe on your travels. And here in Japan, everybody's voting. This is a big vote day. And uh, so many people went to the station because the larger stations are where the politicians show up and give their speeches. And the, the stations are just packed with with observers and people taking pictures and uh, it's a big day and so right now uh it is um about 10 30 at night and the votes are being counted and we'll probably have a big uh shift and a few surprises and yeah it's going to be very interesting because i think that the local politics these this is these are local elections and i think the local politics especially in the tokyo metropolitan area have been uh, very much impacted by the olympics and um and the uh pressure that they have felt from the ioc to have in fact it's been so pressure filled even the tokyo governor checked herself into the hospital with uh well you can call it over over stress or work related or whatever it's it's just been a really stressful time for tokyo and i will leave you with just one quick smile on your face this is one of those english mistakes that we see so often I love them. I, I I just love them because I know that as this country gets better and better with its English skill, these are going to be rare and and not as often seen. But this is a self sucking corner. <laughs> it's supposed to say a self sacking corner, meaning this is where you can take your goods and then you you know like a like a shop like Daiso or uh, any of the uh, kind of dollar store type type um, stores there's can do. There's a few. Anyway, usually you get your basket right and uh, then you go over to the table and you put all your items in your bag yourself. So you can go to the self sucking corner. <laughs> oh, it's good, everybody. All right. Do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye bye.